We're going to tie a uh, one of Brian Sylvie's awesome summer winter steelhead spring chinook fall chinook flies. Sylvie's tube leech. You'll see it's got a cone on the front. Um, it's tied with a tube and there's a, uh, there's a tube in the back. And this tube in the back is really, really important. So step one, we're going to show you how to tie on that tube in the back. And this is a flexi needle. And I'm going to take my uh, what's this called? 4040 flexi tube. 4040 flexi tube. You know, that's, that's what Pro happens. Pro tube. Pro tube. You're going to just cut a little short. I'm using bright red so you can see it. And you'll see I've, I've got my flexi needle in here backwards. And I just have a little bit sticking out. So I'm going to slide that little piece on there. And, who knows, I should have some super glue around here, but I can't find it. I normally put a dab of super glue on top. Don't get it all the way around. If you do, you're going to be in big trouble. Now, rabbit strip. I measure it. Brian's got this down to an art. I want my strip to be just the same length as his strip. I'm going to put this... I love the taste of rabbit fur in the morning. <laughs> It's good stuff. I part that rabbit fur, I place that on there, and now if, if, if you don't, if you pull too hard, that thing's going to spin and it's going to come undone and you're going to go crazy. You only need three or four turns. And then the reason you want this whole section sticking out to be short is so you can tie your whip finish over the end of it. If you had too much sticking out, you wouldn't be able to do that. So I've used a red tube and white thread so you can see it well. So then you put an... No, you actually you tie a whole bunch of these up first. And then you put a little dab of super glue around there. Don't get the super glue up in the rabbit because it'll just gum it up. And then you tie about 200 of these, and you lay them all out, and you let your super glue dry, and then you're ready to go and finish the fly. So this is the first step, tying on the rear tube.